<laughs> Hi, I'm Tom Richardson. And I'm Rob Hancock. And today we're discovering Buzzards Bay here at the Acushnet Sawmill Park along the northern end of New Bedford. That's right. The park was opened in the fall of 2015 right along the shores of the Acushnet River. It has great trails for walking, uh, water access, and an incredible history. And we're going to check it out right now. So the Acushnet Sawmill can be found at 32 Mill Road in Acushnet. And as you come in, you'll walk through this beautiful stone wall and head right in here to our front welcome space. You get a map to tell you where to go. Um, and you also have the Harlow's Family Learning Center, which will be open uh, from time to time to folks to learn a little bit more about this restoration project. This is actually where the sawmill used to stand. They would use the power of the river to run the mills. Um, but it's also the site of uh, incredible fish migrations. Um, hundreds of years ago, uh, millions of herring would head up the river right here. Uh, but in creating the sawmill, that's trickled down to only a couple hundred every year. Uh, and now as part of this restoration, the fish can now pass freely into the upper part of the rivers. And we've seen a growth from about as I said, 300 to over 10,000 in the last uh, eight years. Well, Rob, it looks like you've got a nifty canoe and kayak launching site right here. That's right. One of the great things you can do with the Acushnet Sawmill is get right out onto the river. Um, we have this canoe kayak launch. Um, you can head out here and go up river uh, about a mile or so to Hamlin Street. And can you go fishing? You can. You can definitely go fishing upstream of the fishway. Mm -hmm. Just make sure you have your freshwater license, though. So, Rob, I've noticed that the coalition has installed these really neat uh, overlooks throughout the park. That's right, Tom. Uh, there are spots where you can stop and take in the beauty of the river and look for wildlife uh, and just hear the water pass by. Right, and you've got signage uh, throughout as well to tell people what they're looking at. That's right. We've installed interpretive signage to uh, help people learn a little bit more about the Acushnet River, why it's important, and why this restoration is so critical. And speaking of the Acushnet River, where does the river flow from this point? That's right. So we're at the South River Overlook and the river flows off here to uh, New Bedford Harbor and then out into Buzzards Bay. Um, and uh, we're all about protecting clean water at the Buzzards Bay Coalition and creating green spaces like this site help protect water throughout this region. Well, Rob, you've shown us uh, some of the great things to see and do here at the Acushnet Sawmill Park, but there's a big backstory to this place, isn't it? Absolutely, Tom. It didn't always look like this. Um, and Sarah Quintal is a restoration ecologist with the Buzzard Bay Coalition, and she oversaw this entire project from start to finish. Big job? Huge job. Uh, <laughs> it's been a long haul, but we've really transformed this place. I'd yeah. love to show you some of the details. Let's go. All right. So Sarah, we are standing on a really cool feature of the park. It's a, a, a long boardwalk that kind of snakes through this low-lying area. Tell us about this spot. Well, it's a red maple swamp that we brought back that was hidden underneath concrete, pavement, and a big old building not too long ago. <laughs> no kidding. You had to get all that material out of here? We did. So we didn't have to dig down very far, but uh, what we were able to do is bring back the natural river floodplain that had been underneath all of that hardtop for so long. Mm -hmm. And literally within two days of digging down and letting the water come back up to the surface, we had frogs and turtles and mallards flocking into this place. <laughs> That's they great. were so excited to have it back. Yeah. And then in order for us to be able to come for a walk through the swamp without getting our feet wet, we built these boardwalks that are really neat in the sense that they're using lumber that's from the property. We did have to take down a few trees as part of the project and those trees we had milled mm -hmm. and we used them for the boardwalk. Right it's all coming full circle, isn't that's it? it. <laughs> Okay, so we are in this awesome uh, amphitheater and the acoustics are really nice here, Sarah. Tell us about it. They are. So on this part of the hillside, we're right behind the visitor center and we have this incredible view looking over the new restored river. Yeah, you can see it all. You can see the river heading down towards uh, New Bedford Harbor mm -hmm. and uh, the swamp is over there, the, the uh, Red Maple Swamp and the bridge. It's quite a place. And this is a spot where we really envisioned that we'd be able to do learning center programs here. And we took stones that were originally on the riverbank and we recycled them and turned them into seating <laughs> on this little hillside with this great view. Very clever. Well, thanks guys for this uh, tour of this wonderful property, the Akushnet Sawmill Park. What a fantastic place to visit. Thanks, Tom. We loved having you here and showing you around, and we hope that more people are going to come out and discover this place. I'm sure they will. Yeah, and if you're looking for more places to discover, go to SaveBuzzardsBay.org and click on Discover Buzzards Bay. That's right. It's all about getting out and discovering Buzzards Bay and its watershed. I'm Tom Richardson for Discover Buzzards Bay.